What is up, guys? Phoenix Echo here, aka the Gold Pidgeotto. And, uh, whoa, I about fell on some snow. Um, it's, it's snowing pretty decent right now, as you guys, I don't know if you can really see that. But I'm just getting off of the last bus walking to the apartment. It's probably like six, almost six, no, it's about 6.30 p.m. right now. I got off work around, I think, yeah, like five, 5.06, 5.07 tonight, and I was scheduled off at five, and all the other, you know, managers and drivers and everybody started to come in to work and just they were like hey we're gonna need you to stay a little bit longer because it started getting busy and I was like I said yeah can anybody give me a ride home if I stay a little bit longer and then they're like well you know I don't really know you and like some of them were like oh I've got to stay until this time and this time and I'm like, I really, I can't stay until like 9 p.m. just to help you guys with a rush, just so I can get a ride home. So it's kind of like here lately, what, what it's been is like right when I'm scheduled off, the bus is either pretty much like right outside the restaurant by 10 after I clock out or like... Sometimes I might stay a little bit later, you know, by like 20, 30 minutes because the bus, I know, I know that the bus will be a little bit later. I don't know how to really explain it too much, but yeah, it's, uh, I'm already emotionally burned out on this job. Like I got transferred. I know I've, I'm still a manager. I still have my manager pay, but It's becoming a hassle to take these city buses all the time. I mean, I have to do what I have to do in order to pay bills, to get by, to do what I have to do. But so, yeah, I had a, not like a huge altercation at work today, but it was, uh, you know, along the lines of, like I said, I clocked out about 5.08 p.m., and the bus literally was like right there by exactly 512. So I had to pretty much like rush out the door just to catch this bus. Um, and as soon as I go to clock out, you know, one of the managers was like, you know, hey, we need your help, blah, blah, blah. We're getting busy. And, you know, it's like I had been there already since about 9.45, 10 a.m., something like that. There was so much dough put up today. You know, I, I did my job. And I understand it's like, yes, I'm a manager and I'm supposed to lead by example and things of that sort. But I just, I, I cannot stay without somebody being able to guarantee me a ride home. And so far, nobody's been able to guarantee me a ride home or anything of that sort. And like I said, I don't want to end up staying hours upon hours later just to help them out and then take another two hours on the bus. So it's just like I'm literally getting frustrated with this. I'm getting emotionally burned out. I'm getting stressed all the time because I still need to make money. You know, it's like, do I enjoy the job? Sometimes. Working for a company that doesn't really, I'm not going to lie, like they don't really seem to care too much about employees much. Um, there's a lot of, you know, especially within the management field, there's a lot of political 
games and political bullshit, kind of is in like, you know, certain managers are favored over other people, who's going to do X, Y, and Z, and who can't do X, Y, and Z, all the managers at my store, nobody wants to ever close, but you know, honestly, until I get some type of vehicle, I'm not going to be able to close, I'm not going to be able to do you know, exactly the shifts that they want me to do. It's like, it's also a thing from corporate. If overtime is not approved, I can't stay longer than what I'm scheduled unless the hours I'm scheduled already don't add up to 40 hours. So it's like this week I'm scheduled, hell, 39.9 pretty much like maybe pretty much right at 40 and it's like overtime is not approved this week. So I've got to, you know, it's just becoming a hassle. It really is. I'm going to keep walking. It's starting to stick a lot more. It's freezing. Oh God. Mudslide. All right. If I fall, sorry. Oh, that's so gross. Big old mud hole. All right, cool. We're good. Back to the pavement. But yeah, it's, uh, I just do my absolute best to get by, to pay my bills, to take care of what I need to take care of, and... It's, it's starting to, to suck, you know, not to mention it's still winter. And so, you know, like today it's snowing the other day it rained. It's kind of like, I'm hang on one second. Don't want to get copyright music struck. Okay. Um, but yeah. So, you know, the weather, having to wait out for the bus in the cold, in the rain, in the snow, in the whatever weather it is. So, it, it royally sucks, man. Whew. I'm just, I'm, I'm getting tired of it, you know. I don't want to get sick. Anyways, I'm going to leave that one here. Love you guys very much. And as always, take it easy.